The first book of the Blessed Basket Man, Radi Chase. In the beginning, there was but two humble beings upon this earth, the common osier willow and the sole divine entity known as man. Man was formless and empty, willow encased the heights and the depths, and man roamed alone and without purpose. Upon a mossy outcrop on the shore of the great sea, man said, let there be weaving to shield me from the spray of the sea. And there was weaving of the great man's ingenuity. Man contemplated this great notion and was pleased, and upon seeing the reflection of his naked flesh on the waters, set about the creation of fine linen. He named the longitudinal yarns warp and the transverse yarns weft, and set about creating man a pair of fabrics to conceal his nudity. Man constructed these leggings of the finest flex, made into the finest linen, dyed with the deepest blue seashells could produce. Man gazed upon his work and was pleased with its creation. Upon treading on the coarse and sharp rocks beneath his feet, Man said, let there be clogs to ease my tread upon these shores. And so, of the sturdiest and most prized fibers, Man constructed himself a most fine pair of sandals. Man decreed himself the first of the cord waners, and the patron of all who would follow him. Man gazed upon his work and was pleased with his creation. Upon a long hike through the northern mountains, his clogs began to fail him, tearing and stabbing into his soles as the fibers frayed. And so Man said, let there be a bounty of every creature in every crevice of the world. And so man set about making it so. Man began to tend to expansive gardens for many an eon, filled with all manner of plants and all manner of creatures, from doe to eagle. Man gazed upon his work and was pleased with his creation. Amidst his newly found bounty, man said, Let man exploit the hides and skins found amidst my boundless land. And so man indulged in the time of plenty he had created. Man came to realize that the humble cattle, found from the furthest north to the furthest south, were ideal to ease his feet of their pain, so harvested hides to construct the finest boots. Man built these moccasins with the finest hides and the strongest cord with the thickest soles, and man, and man gazed upon his work and was pleased with his creation. In the heart of the most intense storm of any age, man sought shelter in the deepest depths of a cave in the center of all existence. Man came to a glorious and awe-inspiring realization, and man said, Let there be baskets to shield me from the heaviest and sharpest of downpours, and all of the wildest threats of the world. And so it was. Man set out to construct his most glorious creation, the divine basket. Man gathered the strongest of all osseo reeds, of sufficient thickness to withstand any and all abuse, and light enough to be of little burden on his shoulders. Man began his most beautiful of all creations, the reeds were wrapped in the strongest and finest purple silk threads as to insulate the holy basket from the most severe winds and most brutal of rains. The progress was quick as man devoted all the resources of the world he had created to his most divine of all things and finally completed his basket, which shielded him on his longest of treks through the most treacherous of passages. It was on these many years and many days and many nights the basket man, best and greatest, the most holy of holies, was finally realized. Uh, yeah. Should, should, I, should I just keep going immediately? No, no, that's the first page. Okay. Of the Old Testament, written by. I didn't need a fucking drink. My, my mouth is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go get like a glass of water. If you, if you guys are interested in where this comes from, check out matterlords.com. Thank you very much.